Merry Christmas everyone, uh, this video is going to be a reply to a user by the name of Other4815. I know not the most uh, original uh, username I've heard, or many of you have heard, but you know, with being a creation, it's being unimaginative is probably one of his better characteristics. Um, his video was entitled Atheists Do Not Exist, and um, I hope you are watching Other4815, or can I just call you 4815? Because I've got a lot of critiques and things that I'd, um, if you could answer I'd be grateful, you know, either in the comments or in a, a video reply or something, um, as, as I said, I would be uh, grateful. You seem to know an awful lot about what um, atheists think, and it seems to be a trend on YouTube where um, a lot of a lot of religious people seem to seem to know a lot about what goes on in atheists' mind, you know, I thought uh, God was the only one who was all-knowing, I guess not, you must have some sort of psychokinetic powers that, um, you know, us non-believers don't have. Uh, you say that it's it's common sense that God exists. Uh, no, two plus two equals four. You know that's common sense. Uh, Die Hard is an awesome Christmas movie. That is common sense. If if God existing was that obvious, then we, surely we would all be believers. Uh, but then you say that we suppress the truth in ourselves in in order to cope with the judgment to come. And I have never ever understood this argument. And if you are watching, then uh, maybe you can help me. You're you're basically saying that atheists are in a kind of denial about God. Um, so, answer me this. Why would we choose to be in denial uh, if, if, if we knew uh, indeed that God exists? You know, you, you probably think that uh, atheists are immoral people who will do pretty much anything as long as it makes us happy, right? I mean, as long as it serves us. You know, that, that's, that's what, you know, because we don't have any morals. Um, if that is the case, then why wouldn't we pretend that there is a God just so we could get to heaven? You know, if we knew that sinning would um, condemn us to hell, why would we continue to do it? It, it, it makes no sense. Uh, surely we would just be good for this this short life, and then we would have an eternity in heaven. Uh, why would we lead immoral lives when we know we would be eternally punished? If we were just purely looking out for ourselves, then surely we would do whatever it takes to get the ultimate reward. Yet in your opinion, we do the opposite. Um, I hope I've explained that well enough. I'd like to get your uh, opinion on that because I've never heard a good answer to that uh, particular inquiry. Um, I know you were joking about atheists uh, don't exist, but you know there there is there is a big difference. The fact being that you know, ow, I feel pain, and you know I'm real. I'm quite here. Look, you can see me. You could ever you could you could meet me, and you know you could shake my hand and say you know you're an idiot, and I would say you know you're an idiot too. So you know we could actually have a meaningful dialogue. So um, that's. You know, a big difference between me and, you know, some uh, supernatural being. Um, I do love it when someone of a particular faith says that, you know, all the, all the other religions are, they, they've got their interpretation wrong, you know. That every other interpretation is wrong, but mine, mine, that's good. It cracks me up. Keep doing that, it's quite funny. Um, you talk about how God created uh, naturalistic processes such as uh, the, the, the snow and stuff, but... Um, if that's true, then why do you have such a big problem with evolution? Um, couldn't God have just created life on Earth um, through um, evolution? Or are you just one of those people that um, believes in the uh, literal interpretation of the Bible and think that we all came from uh, two people and Jonah lived inside of a whale? You know, because that, that is much more plausible uh, than something that we have millions of pieces of evidence for and is growing every day. I mean, this is the 2,000-year-old book we're talking about here. And then you go on a little bit about evolution saying we've only observed small changes in species, you know, a dog remains a dog, blah blah blah, the, you know, typical Kent Hovind stuff that we've heard before. And I'm going to leave you, um, I'm going to throw up a few links uh, up in the sidebar. One is for um, an organism um, that, that can now digest nylon and about uh, Italian wool lizards. Now these are not incremental changes we're talking about here that these um, organisms um, um, we have, have found to see. Um, they have evolved completely new mechanisms to help them adapt to their environment and that we know they were not there before um, but just in case you say that they're still you know they're still lizards and they're still bacteria I'm gonna throw up a link as well which is something that you should have thought of long ago which is a link to transitional fossils and that is that shows quite clearly transitions from you know um, from fish to uh, all the way up to us and there's thousands and thousands of fossils on there and you know you you'll be there for quite a while being quite busy looking at all the uh, lovely evidence that we have for evolution um, you say that atheists say life was a, a natural process um, and you say otherwise well do you have any proof for this I mean I know you're gonna say the Bible but I'm talking about proofs based in reality you know something that 
um, we have seen to work and you know we have seen to work in this world in this reality um, seeing as we've never ever seen any proof of life uh, coming together by anything other than natural processes I won't be holding my breath for uh, any evidence and by the way um, I don't know does not equal God okay um, just because we do not know something does not mean you can shoehorn God right up in there okay I just wanted to uh, point that out and say you look up into the stars at night and know that uh, God exists but um, I'd like I'd like you to do something else if it is uh, not too much trouble. I'd like you to look into um, uh, a child's eyes who is starving. Maybe a maybe a person who's dying of AIDS or or maybe even cancer or, or any number of diseases that seem to thrive on this planet we're supposedly perfect for. And still, if you and see if you um, still see God, then you know get back to me on that one. Um, you talk about the suppression of the truth won't make it go away. Well, isn't that exactly what you're doing with um, evolution? You know, the, we, we're getting. We've got thousands and thousands, as is millions of pieces of evidence for evolution, both biological and from the fossil record. Yet you seem to be suppressing it and getting your facts wrong. Um, yeah, something I, I don't understand. Um, before I go, I just um, I just want to say that I noticed on your profile you're saying you said that without God I am nothing, which is which is a very sad a very sad thing to say. And I, this is coming from someone who suffers from depression. Um, I'm going to say the, quite the opposite of what you've been saying in this video, is that I think you know that God doesn't exist, yet you believe in him to help you with uh, your own mortality, because as you say, without God you're nothing, so you have to believe wholeheartedly in him, um, or else, you know, your life is without meaning. Atheists um, have as much meaning as their li in their lives as you feel you do right now, just because you think you are nothing without a supernatural CCTV watchman doesn't mean that you should project how you would feel onto others. You know, atheists, uh, we're doing just fine, thanks.